when you're dealing with ethernet cables, it's often helpful to have a tester like this if you plan to make cables and terminate them yourself. Normally you do that in like a server setting where you're making custom length cables or you're wiring them into a patch panel. Um, and if you're going to do that uh, and you're going to be crimping your own cables, having one of these is a really good idea. What this is, this is a tester that checks the ethernet cable to see if it conforms to the proper pinout for the ethernet. So we have the device tester itself here, which can also do coax and uh, PoE, but for this video, we're just going to use it with normal ethernet. And the other, other side, we have a terminator for both the coax and the ethernet. And fortunately, using this is very simple. Uh, you just plug the cable into both ends and it will immediately tell you if there is a problem with the cable. All right, so right here I have a uh, just a standard Cat5e cable I put together real quick. And I have one end on the terminator here. I'm gonna plug the other end into the top of this. And this is, this is not a crossover cable. All the numbers should line up when I plug this in. So I plug it in. You can see all the numbers here are lining up with their corresponding other side. So the pinouts for this cable are fine. But I'll also like to show what it looks like when the uh, cable is made incorrectly. So we'll remake this cable with a incorrect layout. <laughs> So previously this was a perfectly normal ethernet cable. I have recrimped the cable so that it is a, uh, I have the first two wires swapped around. So when we plug this into the tester here, all the other wires should be fine, but it should flash the first two. There, so you can see one and two, two and one. So just means that these two wires over here are swapped around.